Hello internet, it's, um, it's a blue clear sky day, sort of, but it's blooming cold today, it's about 4 degrees, not nice, but jobs need doing. Right, today let me show you what I'm going to do. So, today we're working on the 1.8, um, bumper off today, never done one of these before, but um, I can't imagine it would be too difficult. Um, why am I taking the bumper off? Well, there's a couple of little annoying cracks, um, little one there. And another one, ah, just there, on the side. Um, so what I'm going to do, take the bumper off, going to get uh, my plastic welder out and just make those secure, sort them out, and then just touch them up, fill them, spray them, whatever he's doing. But uh, yeah, it's just, um, probably doesn't need doing, but it's just me. I like getting on top of these jobs. So let's stop waffling and let's get wrenching. So, body up first of all, um, my calculations are correct. We've got one there, one there, one there, they're like 10 mils. Um, I think there's a couple in the arches. Um, yeah, I'm sure there is, probably behind behind the panel. And three or four along the bottom as well. So, um, let's get going. three out um, all into plastic grommets so uh, no chance of rusting there that's good right um, underneath next tank oh, look at that nice new shiny exhaust right looking at it we've got something there I've got a feeling they're pull clips yeah I think they are so it looks like they're pull clips not actual nuts and bolts hmm. okay let's get them out well they were push clips and a uh, tiny little peg in the middle. Definitely more difficult than it needed to be getting those off, and uh, yeah, I will be replacing them with something a little better. But right, it's the bottom side gone. Right, let's get these side bits off. Right, so looking at this, I think there should be a screw there, but it's missing anyway. Um, I can't see anything else behind it, so I think it's just time to give it a little tug. Ow, get your fingers trapped. Right, let me do it with two hands. So yeah, just clips in like that. Simple really. Um, front looks a bit stuck. So let's give that a little bit of leverage. Oh, need two hands for this job. There you go. So it's just got a leverage bar behind it and it does pop straight out of that bit there. So there shouldn't be a lot holding it in now. Let me pop the other side off and we should be able to get it off. Now I know some wires behind here that need disconnecting. So I'm um, gonna have to be careful. All right. That side popped off just the same, so in theory we should uh, pull these off here. And the whole front should, and it does slide out. Um, yeah, as I said, there's, uh, there's a sensor down there and some wires connected to the bumper, and obviously the fog lights. So I'm going to get that all disconnected, and uh, yeah, we should be good. So yeah, on closer inspection, it is just the one plug on the passenger side, like that. Right, to the garage. Looks a bit strange without a front bumper. Right, so then we can see what's going on. So, yeah, there's that crack there. It's actually a little one there as well, so I'll fix that while I'm in here. And on the other side, yeah, same here. Looks like it's had a little bit of a nudge on the front. Um, I guess just flexed it a bit and cracked things. Not bad. Certainly doesn't need replacing, just needs some uh, stitching. All right, let's get the heat gun out and get on with it. So, we have our finest Chinglish um, welding kit, plastic welding kit, the gun, and all the bits I need there, including some side cutters. Hey, let's get started. Well, these are the little kiddies I need to be using. Um, I don't know if you can see them properly, but they're like a zigzaggy shape and they just basically weld it together. Um, now, I need two hands for these. Um, all they need to do, um, when you press the button there, they'll heat up and just need to gently massage them into the plastic crack. Obviously sealing the end first and then working backwards. Right, need to concentrate, bear with. So there you go, that's all you do, just melt them into the plastic there. You need some good penetration, but obviously be careful that you're not gonna go through the other side as well. Um, easy to do because this is quite thin plastic but um yeah that's the end bit sealed just need to work back now and stitch it uh, at intervals all the way down 
So it is a bit tricky on plastic that's so thin, but it's, um, as you can see there, we've got it all stitched together. Um, you're going to get some heat penetration on the other side, um, as you can see. And there's obviously a little gap there that's got to be sanded down and filled. But once that's done, you won't even know it's there. And it's strong. That's the main thing. You know, it can flex now and uh, the strength is there. Right, let's get on with the rest. There you go. That's that side done, and all the tabs cut off. Put a couple in there. That's not actually gone through. Um, it just looks like it's, I think it's a moulding mark, to be honest, because it's exactly the same on the other side there. So it's not a crack, as I thought, in the uh, in the first instance. And that one there, obviously, that's all stitched in now. Again, not pretty, but uh, functional. That's the main thing. Um, there's obviously going to be, I'm guessing, I've not looked yet, but yeah, it's going to be some bleed through on the other side. But that will grind down and we'll fill the loop and you won't notice it when it's done. Uh, the main aim is to make it strong. That's what we're after. Um, just noticed something there, actually. Oh, yeah, that's the towing eye hook. <laughs> I just wondered what that was. Right, um, I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I need to get some bits and bobs and, and nip out, but um, yeah, later, going to get it all sanded down, going to get it all filled up. Um, I will put um, probably some JB Weld in there as well, just to um, just to give it some extra strength. Shouldn't need it, but that's just me. Um, and then that's about it. Uh, probably won't get it sprayed today, but I'll definitely get it done over the weekend. All right, that's uh, that's the stitching done. And there you go, can't get enough protection. So, that is it for now. That needs to go off and cure, which will probably mean that tomorrow will be the next time I uh, have a play with this. Um, but I do need to go out and get some bits and bobs anyway. So, that's all good. Right, well that is it for probably this part one. And uh, join me later on to look at part two. When we sand down the front and get that all tidied up and uh, put a little bit of spray paint on it, make it look nice again. Coming along nicely this. Right, catch you later, internet. Have fun.